Hi, and thank you for watching scodenet.com. Today we're going to take a look at a little hidden file which I stumbled upon called the PSR. It's Problem Steps Recorder. It seems to be a program Microsoft uses to uh, troubleshoot while they're on the phone with you. Basically what it does is it records screen uh, captures. Okay, so basically whatever it sees on the screen. So it's not a video. It's actually uh, just a uh, an image of your screen. So uh, to start this program, all we have to do is uh, click on the little Windows uh, icon button in Windows 7. And uh, then after that, you want to click on the search programs and files. Now you want to type in P S R. So problem steps recorder PSR. Press enter. And a window will pop up, uh, I guess, near the top here. And that's the problem steps recorder window. Now you have a start record button, a stop record button, and an add comment button, as well as a little timer. So for our tests for today, we're just going to click on the start record. And basically what it's done right now is it's taking a screen capture of, uh, of the desktop. Now I'm going to load up uh, Windows Explorer. And essentially what it should be doing right now is it should be recording this uh, this very screen in front of us. So once we've done this here, we want us to, uh, we'll press on stop record. We're going to save the file, so a new little window pops up here. I'm going to click on desktop to make it easier to find the file. And I'm going to call it here test. Okay, so once that's done, uh, you can basically shut down the programs if you'd like. To do it just makes it easier to uh, basically see a screen. So what you can see right now is we've got a text uh, compressed folder. It's a zip uh, compressed folder. If your default is anything else uh, but zip, it'll basically uh, put in a different archive. Essentially uh, what happens is this file I do believe is used uh, to basically email to a text center. So once you open uh, the compressed folder, you're going to see an HTML document. This is basically like a website document. So I'm going to double click on it here. And it's going to open up essentially what we've just done for the captions. So I'm going to scroll down here and we can see there's the desktop. So that was the first capture that I've done, which is also titled if you look up here from step one. And you've got the date, you've got the time. I'm going to go down here. And here's my second screen capture, which is when I loaded up uh, Windows Explorer. So you can see that there was a website that initially went, uh, went on. And then here you've got some more details, obviously, used to uh, the troubleshoot. So now that said, I'm going to close this here. I have no idea what you could use this for. I personally would rather use uh, the uh, print screen uh, button uh, to basically uh, copy paste into my emails uh, to show people basically different screen captures. But I guess this could be used uh, you know, in many different ways. I don't, uh, but I'll leave that up to you. So thanks for watching scodenet.com, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.